Okay, today we're going to be reacting to breaking the unwritten rules of baseball. We've I've just filmed the video what the unwritten rules of baseball are. So now we're going to watch these people breaking these unwritten rules, the gentleman's agreement as it was put, and we're going to see whether my uneducated opinion on it whether I agree with it or I disagree with it. If I think it's bad or I think it's right. And you can let me know down in the comments which ones you agree with me on. Which ones you disagree with me on. We're going to jump straight into this subscribe and all that. If you are new around here. What's up? We started with Max Scherz here. We did a video on him, didn't we? Cat, was he the biggest psychopath? I can't remember. I just can tell by his eyes. But yeah, that's who we're jumping in with. Let's go. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I've seen this one before, okay. I, I have seen this one. I can't remember what video, but the guy's created contacts by moving his elbow towards the ball there. Did it hit him? He's used his elbow pads. I would say that's not good sportsmanship. Especially when you're losing. Losing by six. Oh, it was on a perfect game. Oh my god, nah, man. I I have seen this one. Nah. Top of the order, Josh Harrison. I mean, did he make an effort to get out of the way, or did he lean into it? He went into it. Nah, that one's horrible. I've seen it. I don't know what video we've seen this on, but we have seen it. That pitch wasn't that far in. It's a call that they never make. He's about to do something crazy here now, and he? he's about to throw this at the guy's head. I... No. Harrison, foul ball now. Max Scherzer still has a chance to I'll do something what, only one that pitcher has ever done. I got hit by more pitches than most, and there's no way I'm leaning into a pitch down six to nothing when a guy has a perfect game going. I would never do that. Okay. He didn't do anything crazy. 3 2 pitch. High drive, deep right field, way back. To the track, to the wall, it's Appreciated. He had some words for Carlos Guillen in the home plate umpire Hunter Wendelstead. He saw it right away. And he got out there and had a very lengthy conversation with Jared Weaver. And after that conversation. I was waiting for him to do something wrong. I've got no issue with this one. You guys might feel differently because you're proper baseball fans. I've got no issue with this at all. My man's an absolute beamer. He's admiring his own shot. It's a bit of is. It's not sportsmanlike, right? I'm not saying it's sportsmanlike behavior. It's a bit of showmanship, but I've got no problem with that. You're against each other, man. What? I always thought when you're playing sports, you're basically a war against the opposition, right? Yeah. He determined I need to warn both of these teams right now. I got no issue with that. I have an issue with that. I have an issue with that. This guy has not done anything to you. I know he's his teammate, but now you're trying to hit a guy in the head at 100 miles per hour with a baseball. I have an issue with that. You know what? It, uh, Eagles, man. Eagles are mad in baseball. Fragile Eagles. My man got embarrassed, so he's lashing out. Jared Weaver's been ejected from the game. After the warning by Hunter Wendelstead. Go away, Weaver. Well, that's a disgusting pitch. I'm I'm not for that at all. The batsman's done a good job just not even react. Up the middle. Gloved by Murphy. There's one and they will not get the double play. Wow, did Chase Utley go in hard at second as the tying run scores. Tejada looked like a receiver coming over the middle, having his feet knocked out from under him. 
Okay, I understand what's happened there. He's stopping the double play. He's obviously out already. And he's prevented the double play. What I'm going to say here is... But there's going to be a lot of pausing, so I'm going to give my opinion on this, right? I'm looking at the situation in this game. It's a bit small for you guys, but I hope you can still see. It's 2-2. Just 2-1. Two, 2 out. It's the bottom of the seventh. It's an NLDS game, which it means it's a playoff game, game two. I think it's obviously it's very unsportsmanlike, but I don't mind it at all. I honestly don't hate it. My man's doing everything in his power to win the game. You see it in football all the time and people do go crazy. Like, Henri did it against Ireland one time. He used his hand to keep the ball in play and score a goal. Um, I think, was it Suarez? Did Suarez save a ball on the line with his hand in the World Cup to not garner out something like that? There's always these moments, man. And it, you do get a lot of hate for it. You are going to get a lot of stick for it. But at the end of the day, you're doing everything in your power to win the game. So you are breaking the unwritten rules. I get it. So we will say he's broken the unwritten rules. Personally, as a neutral fan with no alliance or affiliation with either team i, I kind of respect the guy for it i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie you can talk to me about role models and whatnot but at the end of the day these guys aren't playing baseball to be role models they're playing baseball to win world series to win games and my man's doing everything he can to win a world series so i'm i'm not I'm not too bothered about it and if you're going to throw a pitch at a hitter, at least hit him, man. What was that? There was no end. It was so far behind him. You're done. No, I mean, you can't do that. You're not, not in that situation, man. You can't. You can't you're, not, 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 that ain't going to happen. I mean, I, I, know, I know you're going to say that, but that ain't going to happen. At least hit him, man. I mean, that's, that's the wrong time to do it. That's all. I'm telling you. Umpires dealing with that well, to be fair to him. Take him, take him, take him, take him, Terry, 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 Apologies for the language, but you know, it is what it is. Things are getting heated here. Terry's mad. I can understand why he's mad. He's a coach of a team. You're going to get mad in that situation. Pitcher shouldn't have did what he did, though. Terry, listen, I'm telling you, our ass is in the jackpot now. Okay? Okay? That's what I'm just telling you. Fucking motherfucker. You know what? That, that, that's what? you got. You got it. You got, okay, get it. You got everything out. The, the umpire could have ejected the coach from the game. He's done well there, to be fair. What have we got here? The game zero zero three and two. So three balls, two strikes, one on, two out. And he's able to just punch the ball consistently into right and right center field. Oh, what a shot, man! He throws the bat. The ball goes flying. It is gone. Two nothing socks. The ball was majestic. What's he going to do? The bat was a javelin. And the Sox lead. That's home run number four. He's driven in 12. The Sox have a two-run lead. And Tim Anderson. Seems calm. Pretty timid. home run replay. And this is a bomb. That's a high fastball. He gets every bit of a throw. The bat flip was a bit extravagant. As long as he's not throwing it towards a play, though, I, I have no problem once again. Let's have a look. And a no doubt. The two unearned runs, and the Royals tied it. So what's the... I, I might be missing the point of this video, though, is... Has the pitch broken the 
rule or is the batter broke the unwritten rule? I don't know. And Maldonado gets right in Anderson's face after Kellum Keller drills him with the first pitch. And here we go. I mean, the batters took it well. Well, it's not the first time. And let me give you a disclaimer. I'm not blaming either side, but this is not the first time Tim Anderson has done that on a home run with the Royals. And the Royals have not appreciated it either time. No, I mean, that, that was pretty flagrant, especially after he threw the bat and then he, he yelled something and looked like it was it, it, towards Maldonado. I mean, you know, those, those are things that, that happen. Alex got one in the ribs early in the game. Hey, maybe that's the payback. And if you're going to do it, get him below the waist, exactly where he got it. Ooh. And Dietrich. Okay, so he stared at the ball. I only know that's wrong because we've seen so many of it. Time against the Pirates this year. That one way out of here. I think he hit that one further than Frazier hit his. Yeah. It seems so minor to me. It, it seems so minor. It's wet. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot, a lot further. My man's at a beamer. He wants to see where it goes. <laughs> and the Reds take the lead back. I was looking at Melky and he looked like Puig. He was just standing there. As he crossed home plate the first time. Gonna get hit. Out. And of course, a pitch comes in at him, and Archer's going to be warned. Yeah, Archer apparently has a problem with it. I don't see how that's and a David warning. Bell Honestly, saying, that well, should be out of the game, warning. surely. And here comes everybody who wants to talk about it. These two teams have played each other quite a bit here in the early going, and it's feisty. There's some pushing and shoving. Don't anybody get hurt now. I think I've been against the pitcher on every one of these moments. I will be interested to see your guys' comments, so I could be completely wrong about this. My perspective isn't the same as your perspective. I'm coming in as an outsider. Never played yeah, baseball. Like Bell, never been he, brought up to know I mean, the, uh, the unwritten you know, rules. Or, out there. He got right in front of his pitcher. To... I mean... Just to give a perspective of what ours would be, we we would try to be, be avoid being unsportsmanlike, right? The two biggest things in football in England would be shake the guy's hands before the game and shake the guy's hands after the game, right? Don't try to severely injure anyone to a point where you're going to like ruin a career or put them in the hospital. Obviously, that's just a given. The rest of it, you'll see players winding each other up during the game, talking to each other, shouting at each other, celebrating in others' faces. It doesn't, it's not a nice thing to do, but it doesn't allow the other team to retaliate in a violent manner and get away with it. You know what I mean? If I celebrate in someone's face, he can't just punch me and get away with it. Like, that's not going to happen. I guess it's just differences in the sports. I will be really excited to read the comments on this one and see, see what you guys think about these ones. Please do comment down below, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you for the next one. Take it easy. Peace.